Wow, wow, wow. Hello everyone, your Gibbs is here, and we're gonna play Mystery Case Files, The Black Veil. This is the 15th in the series. I've recorded, I'm guessing, maybe the last 10? I don't think I recorded the first five or so, just because of the old schooliness of it. But yes, I've recorded, geez, I don't know, I think going back to maybe Mystery Case 5 or 6? But here we are, number 15, and we're going to get into this soon enough. I don't know what this ducky's doing over here, but hello, ducky. I want to say hello to all of the lovely people that are watching live right now. They're watching live. I'm waving at all of you folks, for reals. We are doing this across on YouTube right now, on Hitbox, Beam, and on Twitch, multi-streaming. Like I always do. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. We're gonna go ahead and hit the play button. Casual, hard, insane, and custom. Look at all these options. This is really nice. Of course, this is a game that is made by Epix Entertainment. They have had the uh, Mr. Case Files series now for what? Three or four games? Maybe, maybe it's a few more than that. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. You can view the case report to see what you've been investigating so far. Yeah, did you see that ducky there on the main screen? I should try the game on Insane, the chat is telling me. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Look at this load bar. Holy cow, come on. I think... It, maybe it's only going to take this long, hopefully once, but... We'll see. Hello, hello! Let's carry on. Redmond. This is Allison Sterling reporting for Strayer Times. I'm in the small Scottish town of Dredmond, where people are fleeing in massive numbers. Locals say mysterious illness has caused rapid aging. The town is full of abandoned vehicles and suitcases. It's... it's unbelievable. As we both know, Master Detective, Unbelievable has become your calling card. We can only rely on you to get to the bottom of such a perplexing mystery. Okay, would you like interactive help? We will go for our special features like we have for the last like three years. <laughs> Anyways, ooh. Okay, why did he do that? Someone's trapped in the ambulance. It will go over the cliff unless I do something. So let's have a look at our interface here. Let's, we got our locking inventory, objectives. So we have to investigate the ambulance. We have our achievements. Oh, they've actually did a little bit differently. Normally, uh, Epix does like a list of achievements. They do have levels though here, which is sort of what they normally do. It's pretty cool. And they have our cool typewriter over here, which is always nice. It's classic Mr. Case Files. We have our map, which apparently is on low battery. Hmm, interesting. And uh, the guide. So this will be our guide. Let's go ahead and have a look at our collectibles, because we're going to be doing this together. So it looks like we have collectibles, trophies, and morphing objects. So this is your opportunity chat as you're watching live to shout out when you see a collectible. So it looks like there is this one here, a puzzle piece. We have 38 more to go. Yay. Don't come to Dreadmund. I love that. We're gonna go ahead and take this pipe wrench here. <laughs> I'm used to feeling unwelcome by now. Poor old detective. Nobody likes the detective. Ah, so there we are. Yes, that is definitely a one-way detour. Well, let's go ahead and investigate the ambulance. Detective, thank God. The door is locked, and this van is about to go over! <gasps> Allison Sterling, Junior Investigator! Uh, Dyer Grove, anyone? Hello! 
Oh no! The key is broken! I'll never catch a break! I don't think this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, it, it worked, but in a different manner than I expected. Please, oh. I can feel the van moving. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, no pressure. We have to reassemble little jiggly bits here. Somehow, some way. We got this. I think. Uh, uh oh. Oh yeah, we, we got this. Yay! Your trusted case file is still by your side. Case information will be stored here. It will assist you along the way to help you put this investigation to rest. I love that it's all sketchy, like she actually just sketched this. This is cool. It's clear from the outskirts of Dremen that something terrible has happened. Numerous cars and suitcases are scattered everywhere. It's obvious that people left in a hurry. Only a few residents have stayed behind. What could have caused this panic? Very lovely. So we have to uh, keep referring back to our cool journal. And uh, oh, oh, hello there. You have been saved, have you? I'm loving the weather. Like the fact that rain is like pouring down on the angle, and this thing's like super animated over here. It's pretty cool. I'm too short to reach it. Phew. Well. Here you are again, coming to my rescue. Just like back in Dire Grove. What was it, nearly a decade ago? Oh my gosh! You know, I've talked about Dire Grove many, many times, and I'm gonna continue to talk about it. It is one of my all-time favorite hidden object games. I played that game and it started my addiction to the genre, and uh, I should replay that game. I don't know. At some point I should actually go back. I have recorded it, of course, but maybe I should do it again. I don't know. You are officially my guardian angel, detective. Though I'd bet this isn't a chance encounter. If you're here to investigate what's going on, maybe I can pay you back with information. Follow me. Allison is eager to jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. I'll have to gather information as we go. Oh my gosh, this is, uh... Maple leaves are all over the place. So let's have a look here. Oh, wow, that is a really nice touch. I love the... Oh, we kept her badge, too. Nine years ago, I rescued Allison and her friends from a supernatural threat in Dire Grove. She decided to become a journalist and pursue the paranormal. If it weren't for her new vocation, we wouldn't have run into each other. There must be more to this than meets the eye. What insider information can she give me? Okay, I'm already in love with the journal. Hello, journal. We need to go on a date. A friend of mine from high school, Maggie Sharp, lives somewhere in Newlywed Square. I just need to find her address. I'm not just going to stand idle as the storm riles up. Maggie Shrep's house should be a stretch to find. Okay, so... Wow, this statue's kind of interesting. I don't think these cables are meant to be part of this statue's artistic flair. No, it looks kind of creepy. The suitcase? What is up with this suitcase? It's got, like, weirdness going on here. Such a key surely doesn't match this dreadful suitcase. Nobody in their right mind would find this design appealing. What treasure trove of horrific secrets do you hide? I wonder. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, there's another collectible right there. So it looks like we're going to be looking for puzzle pieces as our collectibles. So do shout them out when you spot them. Okay, room... Number. Oh, they're like door numbers here. You can select the edges of the scene like this one to see more of the scene. Room number 213. I have to figure out which door is Maggie Sharp's without disturbing anyone else. I bet I could bring back the color to this weathered mailbox. Alright. So we're going to have to figure this out. Wow. 
Wow, we were like just going around in circles. Ah, we will. <laughs> How do we get out of here? We're stuck in a circle. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna go here. The stroke of death is as a lover's pinch, which hurts and is desired. William Shakespeare. Hmm, that's interesting. These words are fitting. Boards often wrote about love and death. We gotta use the chalk! Yes, I figured as much. Thank you, chat. P. Winston, you get to be green! You get to be yellow! E. Donovan, oh, look at the sad face, huh? What color do you get to be? Maggie Sharp, you get to be pink. You're way ahead of me, detective, but maybe I should go first. I'm a familiar face. Uh, yes, I have played the beta of this game. So, uh, sure. Henry, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in buying any wares. I feel quite out of sorts today. I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. That's definitely Maggie Sharp. Only 60 years older than she should be. Get us in there, detective. <laughs> Get us in there! Alright, fine. You will just stand there. And I'll do all the heavy lifting. I like the little, like, effect here that when you pick something up out of the inventory. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go to the Gallo Estate. A gate without a contraption with millions of pieces to solve! A little joke at itself. How cute. We have collected a plus piece and apparently a dirty sock. The gallows haven't checked their mail in quite some time. Thank you for paying for my daughter's operation, sir. We'd be lost without you. Aw, a couple cupcakes. The community of Dreadman thanks you for repairing the water supply depot. No, 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 I wanted to read the last one too. Hang on. Your donation.